Hey everybody, this is Sam. I'm uh, showing you all my ships for Star Trek Online. Here we go. As you can tell, I'm uh, loading up D Space K7. I like coming here. It's not as it's not as uh, crowded as Earth Space Dock. And uh, a lot of time, I can just get in here, sell what I need, get it sold, and get it done. Uh, I like this spot right here because it's one of my favorite hiding spots. <laughs> I kind of like hiding from uh, some of the other, uh, some of the uh, trolls out there. I don't know what they're doing. And I am wearing Mark 11 Mako gear. And, uh, I love wearing that stuff. It actually does pretty well. It's just I like using my anti-proton a lot of the time to uh, do some extra damage, especially down the port. Um, yeah. Uh, all my ships and everything around here are just, uh, just uh, some of the uh, regular ships that you get from the uh, uh, from in game, uh, from just standard play. Of course, I am free to play, so uh, I, I just I did manage to buy one ship that uh, that really really brings out the best of me. I, <laughs> I like I like using it a lot. And, uh, what I like uh, about that ship so much is uh, that the uh, Chevron separation. And of course, if you don't know where that console went to, uh, it went to the Odyssey Operations Cruiser. And I managed to pick that up uh, just by getting one of those uh, Perfect World game cards from uh, either 7 Eleven, uh, GameStop, or Walmart. You find them there. Uh, those are the three main places that come to mind when you get those. Of course, this is my ship right here. I got a lot of advanced fleet weaponry, and uh, got all my consoles are Mark 12, and I got some uh, universals, including my Chevron separation. I also have um, the Mark 11 board gear because I got that uh, back when uh, before the rep system came out, uh, came about. Uh, I was like, you know what? Uh, why not get that? <laughs> also have the bioneural warhead. Got fuel generators and proton mags. Uh, I also got Romulan distress calls. Um, I also got the subspace mod uh, field modulator and, all, and uh, two satellite turrets. Um, yeah, those really come in handy. Um, it does really well in, uh, in Infected. I, I played that one a lot because uh, it, to me it's much easier to run than some of the other ones. Um, of course, most of my other ships aren't really... Uh, meant to fight the board, except for some of my uh, other ones, like uh, the ISS Michigan, for instance. Uh, let's go to that one and see where uh, that one goes to. Uh, let's just load that one up real quick. And uh, that one just has all the uh, has the Mark 11 Borg set because I picked up two of them. But I have all anti-proton uh, beams on there. Um, I also picked up um, a good farm torpedo, uh, very rare Mark 11. I also have a Mark 12 uh, uh, Tri Cobalt in the front, which does really good damage, uh, but not as good as the Bound or Warhead. But, um, of course, uh, the other ship I was thinking about using was uh, uh, that I'm going to get to one of my other bridge officers, it's the ISS McCandle. Um, that one, if, if you didn't read up on your uh, naval history, this ship right here. Um, there was a real ship named Candlus in the U.S. Navy back in '74. My father served on it, which is really, really cool. Uh, it was a destroyer escort uh, back in the '70s, and then it was changed over to fast frigate back in, uh, uh, I believe, '92. Uh, I believe. Oh, '75. Uh, my father just told me '75. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have that uh, much the uh, uh, good weaponry that I'm planning on having on it pretty soon, but uh, it uh, it's gonna have Mark 11 uh, Mako gear, uh, which uh, will give it some really good uh, shield abilities. I'm also gonna put a couple of uh, field generators on there, and leave one bio neural uh, uh, bio function monitor, and uh, leave a few of, uh, leave a few of those others. And uh, USS Candlus A, which is the second ship to bear the name. Uh, it's going to have uh, some extra stuff on there too, such as uh, 
uh, the, the electroceramic uh, hull plating, the uh, RCS accelerator, um, or I'll just keep the, uh, uh, I'll keep the, uh, what was that called? The emergency force field left on there. Uh, sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart. <laughs> But uh, it has, uh, but the Silver Streak that, uh, that I just clicked on has Mark 10 Mako gear, has all uh, very rare uh, phaser beams, has uh, my tri cobalt, uh, my tri cobalt torpedoes, uh, also has uh, EPS flow regulators. I'm planning on uh, putting a couple field generators on there too, and putting, uh, taking one of the uh, older EPS flow regulators, maybe the Mark 11 off, and putting the uh, emergency force field over there, and putting uh, electric ceramic on there. Of course, I do have a uh, zero point quantum chamber on here, which really, really does good. And there's my uh, uh, mobile device launcher, Tri Cobalt Mark 11, has the Borg modifier. It doesn't do as good as uh, good as damage as Bounder or Warhead, but uh, it does pretty well. And uh, I have a couple. I have some other ships like the USS Milwaukee and uh, the USS Detroit, and that uh, uh, the Milwaukee is my hospital ship. So, uh, let's click on that and see what that, uh, that brings up. Of course, I'm recording the audio after I, uh, uh, after I recorded the video, so. But, uh, yeah, as you can tell, there's, uh, not much weaponry on there. Uh, the good weaponry, because it's just a hospital ship. That's what I'm using it as, because it, it can hold a lot of people. And I got the Aegis set on there, too. Um, I'm planning on putting a, a, re a reinforced hull on there. Because if you're going to go against the Borg, you might as well have something like that. Reinforced uh, uh, plasma resistance and stuff. Uh, the bottom function monitors for the uh, ability to heal crew. Uh, and uh, the USS Detroit, which is still in construction, um, needs a set, which I'm thinking about putting the Mark 10 Mako set on. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, or I might just put the Mark uh, 12 Demon set on there. And, uh, put uh, some new torpedoes on there and engineering consoles and all that and of course this is the Detroit A which I personally built up to be a green, uh, green exploration ship uh, I'll be right back okay uh, yeah um, uh, this ship right here is meant for just exploration that's all I'm going to use it for Silver Streak A uh, it's going to have the uh, have a Riemann set on there, Riemann Mark 11 set. Uh, of course, I don't have all the uh, the whole set completed, and it's not a complete ship, but it's and it's going to be like another escort ship or something like that. Uh, that's what I'm planning on using it on. Uh, the only ship that I, uh, that I don't know what what set I'm going to put on would be the first Silver Street. Um, that one is kind of complete, but I just, I think about using that as maybe as an escort or something like that. Uh, for like, uh, carriers or maybe, uh, uh, or maybe just, uh, uh, transport ships. Yeah. Uh, use that and, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, beam up to my ship. I'll show you what, uh, what the Chevron separation can do. Plus, I also got a couple of space pets I want, uh, space pets I want to show you, that, uh, really, really look, look great, actually, they look really, really good, uh, yeah, there's my ship, Galaxy Operations Cruiser, I'm gonna turn off the visuals here, uh, UI and everything, get zoomed in a little bit so you can see the, uh, yeah, there it is, registry, of course, the Michigan, uh, the last two digits are the month, and let, and the first four are the are the year of when Michigan was founded or joined the Union. Uh, eight, uh, it was January 2000, uh, not 2000, but uh, January 1837. So I, uh, I like, I like it a lot. It's a good ship. It does really well. And I'm going to show you some the Chevron separation, which is really, really neat. I love using that against, especially fighting against uh, the board tactical cubes. Uh, you use that against the four tactical cubes. It has um, uh, two objects to fire at uh, instead of just one. And then you have your your uh, Hogai escorts or your Degaradex cruisers from the Romulan distress call coming in. Or uh, if you can do photonic fleet, you can do that too. Which 
Uh, that's only if you're a uh, science, uh, that's only for science. Let's just get moved away here. And I'm just going to show you the uh, inside of my ship. It, it's a good ship. Um, I like the bridge on it. But let me show you the uh, the pets I got. First, uh, you, you've seen the uh, uh, Phoenix warp ship that you got from uh, the uh, first uh, contact celebration. And this one, the crystal, uh, crystalline shard you get from the uh, crystalline entity uh, event that uh, just recently ended on uh, May 2nd at 10 a.m. So I got that. I got both those. I like them. They're really cool. I also have uh, a green shell red uh, hollow matrix, but I don't. I didn't show that in this video. Uh, of course, I like running all my uh, reputation stuff on uh, during the reputation bonus event, which really gives out a lot, a lot more good stuff. Uh, like more uh, more marks and stuff. Okay, let's head into the ship and I'll show you my bridge. In my ready room and my crew deck. Get this loaded up. It's going to take a minute to load up because uh, I was slow going this part. It has two, uh, two and a half percent. Should get it loaded up all the way by then. Sorry if my headset doesn't sound great to you, uh, it's because it's an, old, it's an older headset. I'm planning on working on getting a new one. So, um, uh, planning on also getting a better computer to run my game on. Uh, hopefully, after that, uh, be a good, good, good setup to play. Of course, this is the Aquarius Bridge. Have you no have you noticed? There's a couple of my bridge officers. There's Lossy, my uh, the Saurian, a regular Saurian. Mitro, my Bullion. Down these steps. Over there, it's a little inside joke. I made, uh, I got, I picked up uh, uh, this bridge officer. Um, named him Rock because he looks exactly like my fleet admiral. Which is which is hilarious. Uh, it was kind of an inside joke on that one. Uh, it was pretty funny because most of that stuff was already uh, on him except for the uniform. <laughs> so I was like, wow, that, that saved me about a lot of time. <laughs> get, uh, get around here. Get down these stairs. Of course, I, I like this bridge a lot. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. I got my brain set right there. One of the uh, navigation spots. And I got uh, Barney, one of my uh, tactical officers, and my uh, Orion uh, science officer from uh, getting tier four of uh, dip uh, diplomacy. Getting that, uh, it was pretty fun. And it took me a long while to get up to that point, but I finally made Federation Ambassador, which is really great. It sa <laughs> saves me a lot of time in having to uh, either uh, travel long distances to get to a certain place. But it works really well for me. And here I got my uh, my ready room. Got my Klingon uh, ground wet, uh, ground trophy, and my uh, and my uh, Nomad uh, trophy as well. Nomad ship, so I like that. I'm uh, gonna head down to the crew deck and show you that after uh, after I show you something really really cool because I didn't know this until I uh, until I looked closely at it, which is really cool. Starfield on the on the view screen actually moves, which I didn't know that, and because uh, I thought it was gonna be an add uh, added on addition to uh, to the Legacy of Romulus uh, pack. I didn't know this, but it was really, really cool. So, I was, I, it just baffled my mind. I'm like, wow, that's pretty neat. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you ever get a chance to look at your star field, uh, the, uh, look at your view screen and your, on your bridge, look at it, because you never know. You, you see the stars and everything moving. It's really, really cool. So yeah. Uh, matter of fact, uh, let's get get a chance to go down to the uh, crew deck and I'll show you the rest of my trophies and everything. Uh, 
uh, that I got set up on this on this bridge. So, yeah, um, this is a pretty cool looking ship. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's one of the best bridges they've ever come out with. It, and I employ, and employs uh, really cool graphics and everything, which I thought was really original. I, w I wish they would have come up with more original stuff, with like this, especially the Ambassador. That would have been a really cool bridge to see, you know, like, you know, like from yesterday's Enterprise. I like we got to see in that. Because we rarely get to see the Ambassador in, uh, in any of the Star Trek lore. Public being as soon as I get down to the crew deck. <laughs> Like, where'd you come from? Well, uh, yeah, and <laughs> let's get over to this, uh, to the uh, crew lounge, and I'll show you this. I'll show you it. Hopefully, when I get a better computer going, um, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some of the, uh, uh, better videos, hopefully in HD, so, uh, so you, uh, so you see uh, what I, uh, what this baby can do. And there's, uh, some more of my, uh, trophies. Of course, I got the Nomad, uh, uh down here, too, but it's because, you know, it's, uh, the second, uh, it's, uh, the first ship to bear the name. And there's my Romulan Borg ship, Cardassian Ground Trophy, and Romulan Ground Trophy, which I, which I, uh, picked up the Romulan Ground Trophy just recently, as a matter of fact, maybe about a couple months ago, which I thought was a lot of fun. <laughs> just doing a whole bunch of, uh, uh, New Romulus missions and just uh, shoot a whole bunch of Tal Shiar, which I thought was fun. And uh, yeah, uh, this is a uh, pretty cool looking uh, ship. I, I put it all as big. I put the uh, ship layout as big, a large, because it is a large ship. Uh, 2,500 people on here, so kind of figured that it uh, that it will employ a whole lot of a whole lot of corridors and stuff. I just wish they made the corridors just a little bit smaller than uh, some of these layouts because, I mean, uh, a lot of this is just really, really big. Uh, and uh, let's leave the ship interior, and I'll close it out from here. Yeah, uh, that was my uh, my ship and everything. Uh, of course, I'm part of the illegitimate children of Kirk, and it seems I'm the only one on today. Uh, I'm usually on multiple times a day, uh, just getting dilithium and stuff. Uh, of course, we have a fleet meeting today at 4.30 at our Starbase Prometheus 1. Oh, cool, I got some stuff done. Collect the rewards on that. Those started. Just, I'm currently tier 3, close to tier 4 of, uh, on uh, Borg. And uh, I'm also uh, tier four on uh, Romulan. It took me a while to build up that far, so especially having uh, enough EC to, uh, EC to build up that far. Just using up all my Omega Marks. While I'm at it, I might as well just uh, get some extra uh, dilithium. So what I was gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, start a uh, start a uh, upgrade project. The uh, elite special task force completion. Get 1,000 dilithium for that for uh, four marks, four uh, processors. I have 50, so I might as well use five of them for that. Get some of these started. Of course, I'm still working on the uh, Mark 11 uh, Riemann engine. Hopefully, I can get that one done. And, uh, yeah, uh, that just needs some uh, Romulan marks and just a little bit more dilithium, and then should have this completed. I can start uh, uh, leveling, uh, getting the rest of the way done. So, I'll be right uh, So, until then, I'll be seeing you, and have fun.